Hello, all of my little baby bunnies, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Alan Wake. My name is Karen with Karen Bob Gaming, and this is going to be a, a new experience for me because this is the most blind of blind playthroughs. I have never watched anyone play Alan Wake, and I have never played it myself. Um, here's the extent of what I know about Alan Wake and the subsequent game Alan Wake uh, uh, American Nightmare, which I also own, just have never played. Um, it's called Alan Wake. <laughs> it's supposed to be scary. That's about it. That's all I know. Literally it. <laughs> and <clears throat> I had been thinking about playing two games, either System Shock 2 or this one. Um, and I actually decided to go with System Shock 2, but then I realized that the tutorial section was balls long. And I was like, if I end up doing this, I need to get through the tutorial first and then record because it's too much to deal with. So instead, we're going to do Alan Wake. So let's, let's fucking do it. I have no idea what to expect. New game, never played this before. Bam. Uh, gosh. I might want to be nice on myself and go easy, but then I'm going to be a pussy. So I'll, I'll do normal. <laughs> Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. <laughs> My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Interesting. That's actually, I find that to be very true. The things that make me think the most, that wonder the most, are always what stick with me. I had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Who is Alice? <gasps> good modeling like the animation of the guy his skittering gone. backwards episode one nightmare oh yeah i did know there were the it's like in an episodic my feet. fashion i i don't actually know how old this is um okay that turns the camera oh okay look up to the left reverse your controls for looking up and down um no i think those are fine you can change it in the... Yeah. This is correct. It's not inverse. Okay. Yep. I can do that. Uh, left bumper to sprint. Okay. This looks really nice. I'm not sure how old this is, but it, it looks nicer than I expected. I'm getting a solid frame rate, too. Am I supposed to keep looking at the lights, or had to go to the is this just ambiance? There was something important waiting for me there. Mm, okay. Oh, there's my health. All right. So that is obviously. Is that my objective? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, just because I'm one of those people, <laughs> I'm gonna go look where I'm not supposed to. There's the a thermos. Collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Can I pick it up? Oh, it's like a, it's like an extra hibbity bibbity. All right, cool. So that's useful to know the um, the interactable stuff is shim shiny, which I do quite like. I think that that's a a nice effect. This is okay. So the camera is fairly sensitive, but not too much. Missing. Is that me? That 
looks like me. Okay. Do I need the lantern? Ah! Uh, ah! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God. Ah! You think you can just make up stuff? Ah! With people's lives and kill them with your big heads to the drop. Holy shit. All right. It, okay. Yeah, scary. Scary is the word I would use. Tense, at least. A. A jumps. Great. Ah! You missed your deadline! I can dodge. How? A left bumper and L. Ah! Is that well done? Ah! And do I have to push on it? Oh, I do! Okay, I'm like about to die. I'm like right at that moment where I'm gonna die. His reach is too crazy, come on! Oh, do I just have to jump over this? Is that what I need to do? I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. <sighs> okay. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Alright, the health, your health increases as time goes on. Okay. I'll see you later, buddy. I'd, I'd rather not die by my own creation, as you so eloquently stated. I mean, it's a beautiful thought, but no thank you. Do I have to go this way? Or is it the- ah, it's the other way. Ah. Uh, path. Should do that. Should go down the path and do the things. Ah! My dude seems tired. He's not sprinting very well. Uh, this bridge... does not feel stable. Who are you? Why do you have a knife? Mr. Wink, it's me. Play steward, remember? Um. Get me There's no time to lose. I don't know who you are. Oh. Oh, cool. All right. Oh no. Stop. Character modeling on his face makes him look old. No, no, that guy. Well, I think he's dead. There would have been way more blood. And his skull would have collapsed, probably. I was trapped. There was no way out. Are you sure? Because I see a door. Oh, uh, fuck. There's windows. I don't like the eyeballs, dude. Uh. Ah! The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. All right, I'm working on that. How how do I get out? Do I have to look up? Is there anything up? No. Ow! Shit. I can't- it's not letting me through this door. There we go. Follow the light. Now it's letting me through this door. Checkpoint. Oh, I have to jump. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh. I'm safe in the light. Oh, so he can't follow me if I'm in the light. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this, for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. 
Ah, it's one of these. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Uh, press left trigger to boost. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. I have to kill him. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Right trigger? Oh, nice. Oh. Ah! Damn it. Not very good at aiming. How many shots do I have? 37. Damn. Oh, no! Ah! Ah! No! Out of my way! Uh, X to reload. Ow! Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm using a controller that I'm not super used to the feel of, so... I can't figure out, um... The darkness protects him from all harm. Which buttons are which? Okay, A, B, X. I was gonna say, flashlight feels very alone in the dark. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Okay. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. Give me that gun. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Alright. Here, take the gun. This feels less alone in the dark. I don't actually remember. Um... This helped me auto aim. It is kind of auto aiming, isn't it? Got him. Whew. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the night, Who is that? Terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Like, I don't know who that voice is supposed to represent. Okay, boosting the light with LT blinds the enemies and burns the darkness way faster. Okay. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Can I shoot you? Can you come back? Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Ah! Ah! God, I got stuck on a rock! Come on, man! Oh, okay. I need to reload faster. That was the only one, I think. At least so far. I'm assuming I'll have to come across many more of those. Ooh, I don't like the air that like ah! Ah! oh shit there's two of them oh shit come on man uh it's the only battery ha ah, crotch shot yeah got him Woo! Ooh, that felt good <laughs> I don't have any batteries left, so I hope I don't have to fight too many more of those. Where, like, are there pick upable batteries in places anywhere nearby? Can I use this to charge? Yeah! Here we go. Flare gun. And ammo. Nice. Okay, so that'll help me if I run out of batteries, I'm guessing. Wait, what did it How did it say I can switch? I can do it that way. Okay. That doesn't feel safe. Oh, I get it. Does it start doing that when I have to fight people? Is that the whole dealie? What is this? Coffee! Could always use more coffee. I like being awake. Alright, so so far I'm pretty happy with like the controls and the and the f mechanics. Trying to do this with a controller feels 
like unpleasant. Like, I'm not very good at it. Ah, shit. Uh. Woo! Reload. I didn't realize it would give me slow-mo effects. That's excellent. Okay. Where? Oh, there he is. You and me are- oh! <laughs> Did he die? Is he gone? Ah! I think he might be gone. That's fine. See ya! Like, unless if he somehow can magically climb all these... I'm gonna assume that he's... I can Whoa! Done for. Um, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, run! Maybe I should run! You know? Ah! Oh shit! Oh shit, okay, got it. Sweet action sequence, bruh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> Good job, uh, Mr. Al Mr. Wake, for, like, dancing. Wow, you run out of running juice really fast. Oh, thermos. Mine. Alright, see ya. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of those are, but it seems important. Ah! Sounds like it's right behind me, bye. <laughs> cool. This is super fun already. I'm having a great time. This, the way this game is put together, like, feels so much like... There was a certain era, era of video game that wasn't trying too hard to be, like, all realistic. And while that can be great and can, like, give you something beautiful and wonderful... Um, like, this is just... This is just a video game. This is just a fun, cool video game. Everything's fine. You dozed off. That's the whole point. Right. Have fun. Dozed off would be news for Maybe scare day. yourself, but have fun. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Guessing that's your wife. Your whiffy wife. Alice? Is that her name? Bright Falls. That's a nice juxtaposition of the nightmare you just had. It's kind of a really adorable little seaside city. Or town. Doesn't really look like a city to me. There's something so charming about seaside towns. And I might just feel that way because of like Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Um sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hmm. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? It reminds me of the first time I went to Norway. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. <laughs> a pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. 
All right, well, he seems nice enough. No, it reminds me of Norway. Um, I mean, obviously, this doesn't look like Norway does. Their houses are painted brighter. Um, but, like, I remember going to this little town that was close to where my husband grew up, where he said he'd gone there before and had gone to buy some fish. And the lady behind the counter was like, well, the boat is like 10 minutes out. If you wait, <laughs> we can get you fish that's just been caught. And he's like, yeah, sure. So he got fish for dinner that night, like literally right off the boat. Cause this town was right next to where he lived. So it was like, okay, here's a fish we just caught drive home. 20 minutes later, we could we could cook it and eat it. Like, <laughs> it was a really adorable town. <clears throat> it smelled like fish, which does happen, unfortunately. <laughs> but it was really cute. All these adorable wooden painted houses. There's something so beautiful and bright about Norway. Like, it must be that half of the year is so dreary and dark because of the winters. During the summer, it, it needs to be beautiful. Am I supposed to be doing something, by the Very way? Nice. I got a couple of really good ones. Should I be exploring this boat? That's cute. Right. Yep. Thanks, wife. Yeah. I should be doing something. Got it. My favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. It's a very protective friend. Damn the yuppies. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. About this trap door. Tell me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. Big <laughs> hi to you too. <laughs> Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Barry seems like a cool guy. I just realized I didn't turn on subtitles. Let me um make sure I have those on. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, let's get back to the car. Leave the ferry. Uh, B is that one. Okay. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A uh, Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Mr. Stuckey's waiting for us. His I'll name is Stuckey, which feels oh, weird to say. 15 minutes? Sure. Stuckey. Stuckey. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Of course there are. Hi, I, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. He is irate. I can't believe it. I got all your books. <laughs> I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Oh my god. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Yeah. Drive no. Coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty oh, come on, really? No human. I gotta move Nothing the cart. Black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of Sounds us. like my husband. I bought him a t-shirt. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. Uh, jukebox is right myself, there. Myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Number six. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut <laughs> again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Oh, thermos. Thank you. Uh, it does that. That's mine. Duck. Yeah. 
you need to give it a good <laughs> solid whack. No, I, I once bought my husband a t-shirt. I don't think he has it anymore. It got too old. It was way back when we were still just dating, and <clears throat> I bought him a t-shirt that had a little print of a coffee cup, and it said, Instant Human, just add coffee. It was pretty accurate. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Oh, he said it was in the bathroom. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Stucky. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. She's okay. not missing a finger. Stay in my it looked like she was missing a finger. I later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. You are look like you are in mourning. Assist. Who are you? Thanks. You are freaking me out, lady. Okay, the cutscene made her look way creepier than she actually was. It's a special place. Very inspiring. I'm sure you're right. All right. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. It's a little heavy-handed, baby. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. Splendid. It's been go, buddy. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. All right. I mean, thank you. But I'll see you later. Hi, Mr. Wade. See you, uh, Rose. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Appropriate. Whoa. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Hit himself on the head running out the door. Oh man, I had like... A really nice guy at the front office in my apartment. Can you um, believe this place? I had gone to pick up a package I'd gotten a notification for. That we'd gotten a package delivered there. So I'd walked all the way down there. Okay. And like, okay. or no, I worked out at the fitness center, and then I went to the leasing office, grabbed my package, I left, want to talk about and I had I headphones in listening to music, because I'd just been working out on the walk Once back to my time, apartment, I was which is a decent walk, walk but to get to from the leasing ago. office. I'm about to like badge into my That's building, my book. and <laughs> uh, I suddenly heard someone going, excuse me, excuse me. And I went, oh shit, so I take out my headphones and turn around, and this man, in like, warm, humid Texas spring weather, in long, like a long dress shirt and dress pants, had been like, jogging after me to get me this package. <laughs> Cause I'd had two, instead of just the one. And I, he, neither of us had realized that when I went to pick it up, so. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. I like turned around and I was like, oh my god, you followed me this whole way. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I'm okay. It was really nice of him. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Hmm. There's like a word for that. I just don't remember what it is. Bird like cabin. Uh your character in Amnesia has the same fear, Daniel. You know, because he gets all crazy. When he's in darkness. This does look really pretty. Woo! Woo! There's a sweet hatchet. This is really pretty, actually. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Maybe, baby. Is this like, is their power going from, yeah, okay. 
I like how this is something I do, by the way, when I'm playing a game. I never the uh generator had been connected to the power cable. I never follow the game's instructions. If there's something else to go do, I go, that's probably important. I'm gonna do that first. <laughs> okay. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Bam. Alright, so that should get the lights on. Perfect. It's a Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Okay. Whoop. Oh, cutscene. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. <laughs> I thought we could be happy here. Oh, it's starting to get really dark, so I might as well get inside. Um, actually, we're all out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And we'll pick this up next time. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It's got a nice balance of gameplay and story with exciting parts and low parts. And, and I'm actually like really tense when I'm trying to fight stuff, which is super fun. This... I'm annoyed at myself for not playing this until now. This is... I'm having a great time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. And gosh, thanks everybody for watching. As always, it's much uh, appreciated. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yes, much appreciated. Make sure to check out my Facebook and my Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to do any of those things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Who is Alice? It's good modeling. Like the animation of the guy Suddenly, his skittering body backwards. Gone. Episode one, Nightmare. Oh yeah, I did know there were... From the crash. It's like in an episodic my feet. fashion. I, I don't actually know how old this is. Um, okay. That turns the camera. Oh, okay. Look up to the left. Reverse your controls for looking up and down. Um, no, I think those are fine. You can change it in the... Yeah. This is correct. It's not inverse. Okay. Yep. I can do that. Uh, left bumper to sprint. Okay. This looks really nice. I'm not sure how old this is, but it, it looks nicer than I expected. I'm getting a solid frame rate, too. Am I supposed to keep looking at the lights, or had to go to the is this just ambiance? There was something important waiting for me there. Mm. Okay. Oh, there's my health. All right. So that is obviously. Is that my objective? Yeah, it is. Okay, so just because I'm one of those people, <laughs> I'm gonna go look where I'm not supposed to. There's the a thermos. Just collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Can I pick it up? Oh, it's like a. It's like hello, all of my little baby bunnies, and welcome to a brand new let's play for Alan Wake. My name is Karen with Karen Bob Gaming, and this is gonna be a, a new experience for me. Because this is the most blind of blind playthroughs. I have never watched anyone play Alan Wake, and I have never played it myself. Um, here's the extent of what I know about Alan Wake and the subsequent game, Alan Wake uh, American Nightmare. Which I also own, just have never played. 
Um, it's called Alan Wake. It's supposed to be scary. That's about it. That's all I know. Literally it. <laughs> and <clears throat> I had been thinking about playing two games, either System Shock 2 or this one. Um, and I actually decided to go with System Shock 2, but then I realized that the tutorial section was balls long. And I was like, if I end up doing this, I need to get through the tutorial first and then record because it's too much to deal with. So instead we're going to do Alan Wake. So let's, let's fucking do it. I have no idea what to expect. New game, never played this before. Bam. Uh, gosh. I might want to be nice on myself and go easy, but then I'm going to be a pussy. So I'll, I'll do normal. <laughs> Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. <laughs> My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Interesting. That's actually, I find that to be very true. The things that make me think the most, that wonder the most, are always what stick with me. I had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. Hunting very well. Uh, this bridge does not feel stable. Who are you? Why do you have a knife? Um, I don't know who you are. Oh. Oh, cool. All right. Oh no! Stop! The character modeling on his face no. makes him look old. No. No. That guy. Well, I think he's dead. There would have been way more blood, and his skull would have collapsed probably. I was trapped. There was no way out. Are you sure? I see a door. Oh, uh, fuck. There's windows. I don't like the eyeballs, dude. Uh. Alright, I'm working on that. How- how do I get out? Do I have to look up? Is there anything up? No? Ow! Shit. I can't- it's not letting me through this door. There we go. Follow the light. Now it's letting me through this door. Checkpoint. Oh, I have to jump. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh. I'm safe in the light. Oh, so he can't follow me if I'm in the light. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I beam. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. But it feels you coming. It will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Ah, it's one of these. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Uh, press left trigger to boost. You 
you did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. I have to kill him. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Right trigger? Oh, nice. Oh. Ah! Damn it. Not very good at aiming. How many shots do I have? 37. Damn. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! No. Out of my way. Uh, X to reload. Ow! Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm using a controller that I'm not super used to the feel of, so... I can't figure out, um... Which buttons are which? Okay, A, B, X. I was gonna say, flashlight feels very alone in the dark. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Like an extra hibbity bibbity. Alright, cool. So that's useful to know the um the interactable stuff is shim shiny, which I do quite like. I think that that's a a nice effect. This is okay, so the camera's fairly sensitive, but not too much. Missing. Is that me? It looks like me. Okay. Do I need the lantern? Ah! Uh, ah! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? Ah! You think you can just make up stuff? Ah! With people's lives and kill them with your big heads to the drop. Holy shit! All right. It, okay. Yes. Yeah, scary. Scary is the word I would use. Tense, at least. A. A jumps. Great. Ah! You missed your deadline! I can dodge. How? A uh, left bumper and L. Ah! Is that well done? Ah! And do I have to push on it? Oh, I do! Okay, I'm like about to die. I'm like right at that moment where I'm gonna die. His reach is too crazy, come on! Oh, do I just have to jump over this? Is that what I need to do? I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. <sighs> okay. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? All right, the health, your health increases as time goes on, okay? I'll see you later, buddy. I'd, I'd rather not die by my own creation, as you so eloquently stated. I mean, it's a beautiful thought, but no, thank you. Do I have to go this way? Or is it the, oh, it's the other way. Ah, the path. I should do that. I should go down the path and do the things. Ah! My dude seems tired. He's not sprinting.